Yo, what is going on guys? It's JD here, back with another 2K video, and boy have we got a long video today. This is easily my longest upload on YouTube to date, and it is going to be a full gameplay of this final game of all-time domination. So yesterday I dropped a video with highlights from a couple of the quarters, and they were still pretty long, but I said, I said to you guys down in the comments, down below that if you wanted to see the full gameplay just let me know and surprisingly a lot of you guys wanted to see the full gameplay of how I managed to win by over 60 points I think in the end we were finished with a 64 point lead so absolutely smashed them and obviously a lot of you guys are struggling on these all-time domination teams so I thought I'd drop the whole gameplay you can see exactly what I do on offense and on defense and everything in between as well. So if you did miss that last video, just to recap it, I did go through what players I like to use, what tactics I like to use, you know, what settings to use, etc. And basically the crux of the video is use a point guard like Steph Curry there, who just pulls up from Limitless with a green. Uh, we have Steph Curry and Baron Davis as my backup. And those two guys combined score around 115 or 20 points this game just between the two players. So all you need is point guards who are fantastic shooters, who have got limitless range, who are quick and good speed with ball. And as you can see through these highlights, the all-time domination, even on the final game, they make some massive mistakes. They're so predictable to read off inbounds plays. Obviously, they do get some steals, so that is why I like to run such a quick offense. It doesn't give them a chance to get any steals or anything. And you can see my defensive settings there. I know these are my offensive ones, sorry. And then this is what you need to do. You need to run up after they have scored. Start your point guard running a little bit and then make sure to pass it so they catch it in stride while they are already running. Take two dribbles, or maybe three, if you have enough time. And then just steady yourself and pull it from three as Steph Curry has got his takeover badge within a minute. Like, this guy absolutely cooks up. Um, he's so good, it's ridiculous. So him, Baron Davis, I did use G Daniel Gibson for it beforehand, and he doesn't even have the limitless range. But there's another example, so you want to be catching it just before the halfway mark on the court. And then, yeah, a couple of dribbles, steady your feet, although obviously you can pull it off dribble, but you do have a much higher percentage chance of hitting it if you do have your feet set. So offensively, that is where the majority of my points come from, without a doubt. Like literally, I think by the end of this game, we only take 10 or so shots that aren't three pointers. And they are all either transition threes like this one, which is heavily contested, and Steph still knocks it down, or they are from inbounds from the all-time domination scoring. So, yeah, even if they score, don't get disheartened. If they hit ridiculous shots, which they will, sometimes they just hit shots that just should not go in. But if they do, don't fret. You know, see it as a good thing. If they score, you've basically got a free and wide open three-pointer, as we'll demonstrate again here with Steph. So just start him running, catch it in stride. One, two, three dribbles. Settle yourself and pull it. And of course, with takeover, Steph is going to hit that. Imagine if we had the diamond Steph doing this. It would be even more utterly ridiculous. But even the Amethyst Steph can do it. And I'm fairly sure you could do it with the Emerald Steph as well. That does come equipped with Gold Limitless. So you could easily use him as well. Now, on defense, you are going to be seeing me off ball on my massive 7'7". Manute Bowles centre, and that is because he is so good defensively, he's so good at deflecting passes, at blocking shots of course, and grabbing the rebounds. There's no point playing on ball against the CPU, you don't gain any praise or any plaudits from anyone, and you're not going to get any angry messages from people if you do off ball. Just remember it is the computer, your aim is just to win the game, so it really doesn't matter. The best way to do it is off balling without a doubt. And I do always off ball on my nuke, but I do pull my, well, whoever is someone's getting screened, I'll always go on that player, make sure they get over the screen, just to cut off any three pointers that the computer are going to hit. Because if they want to hit a three pointer, they will hit some ridiculously contested shots. But other than that, we do go on ball when it goes down into the post. The computer do like posting up every now and then, so if they do, we will go on ball on that. But the majority of the time, we are just going to off ball. 
and then we do work the pull downs inside and that doesn't really work out very often so yeah you want to limit your shots to only good open shots as we get a nice green light layout from a new bowl there and this shows that you do not need crazy good players you don't need a crazy good team i said in my last video i only use this squad just because everybody else in my club is out of contracts like i've basically just been using players and as soon as they run out of contracts i've just been taking them out and chucking somebody else in there anybody can do the job really as long as there are players on the court that is all you need them for if they can play defense and rebound a little bit that is helpful of course but it's not the end of the world. As long as you have my Steph Curry and Baron Davis are the only two, along with Manute Bowl, they are the only three players that have been ever present in this. My backup centre, not too fussed about. I think in this game it was James Donaldson, maybe? Or it might have been Sean Bradley, actually. He's 7'6", Sean Bradley. But yeah, you can literally use anybody, guys. It doesn't matter. And you can absolutely torch the CPU. They honestly don't stand a chance. This is one where I had to, I didn't know it was CJ McCollum. I did think that was Steph. I wasn't even looking. I'm just in the zone. I get a ball off an inbounds and I just start running it up. But yeah, there's so much potential with this. You could drop 150 points in the game easily if you had someone who was on fire for the majority of it and with even better stats. So if you had the Emerald, not the Emerald one, the Diamond Steph, and you got him on takeover, damn, you could easily, easily drop over 100 points with a single card like without a doubt but yeah there we have it guys so i'm going to let the rest of this game roll out for you guys to watch you can see exactly how i play on offense and on defense i'm not sure what happened there with kevin love i think i tapped circle by mistake and it did the intentional foul but yeah, i hope this does help you guys out obviously you will be able to see exactly how to do it and i hope you guys can take something away from this the one thing i would say just off ball on defense, it doesn't matter, it's a CPU, nobody cares, no one is going to think less of you for off balling against the CPU when they've got teams full of pink diamonds and galaxy opals. And then on offense, just make sure you always run the fast break, you don't want to be in possession for very long, you want to be running and shooting as soon as possible, and inbounds threes are your absolute best friend. That is your main form of offense. You don't want to be coming down and running plays. There's literally no point. You want to be going fast paced and just trying your best to rack up as many points and the highest score as is possible. So yeah, I did go through all three dominations by using this technique and I didn't lose a single game. And I know a few of you down below have been saying that you've been struggling to win games. So hopefully this allows you to win as well. So I'm going to leave this gameplay here for you guys now. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. That one wide left. My goodness, get right in his grill and force him to alter the shot. That's tough defense in the post. The wide open look here for Kuzma. Knocks down the three ball. Kuzma's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Bird a screen on Davis. Robertson kicks to Bird. Abdul Jabbar the screen. Pass to Garnett. Shoots over Kuzma. And Garnett misses. New York leading by 18. And the pass to Kuzma. Yep, that one goes. Kuzma's got five points yes. in the quarter. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. You can tell they've got their foot on the gas pedal right now. No slowing down. The defense starting to look helpless. Yeah, yeah, you go for the steal, but at least you do get the defense. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Thomas, and nothing is falling for him right now. New York with the ball. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. And Davis, all energy. Big physical point guard with that shoot first mentality. First trip to the line for him here. A different look for New York. Duncan comes in for Abdul Jabbar, and it's LeBron in for Larry Bird. Thomas against Davis from 20 feet out, and he connects with the jumper. 36. New York leading by 20. Lent it go with a three. Sinks the triple. Davis has got five points so far. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. To the wing right side. 
Thomas kicks to Iverson. Duncan, a screen. Pass to Elijah Wan. Two points. That one goes. Elijah Wan's got his first points in this one. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. And it's Davis missing. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And James throws it down. When, when LeBron gets the ball, guys, and there aren't numbers back in transition, it almost always results in an easy hook. Davis gets a wide open look. Davis can't get that one to fall. New York trails by 19. Iverson. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Boy, nice feed. Leading him into some space. A nice catch on the run, too. Wow. Here's Davis. Hits it from three-point range. Eight points for him. You know, after not scoring a single point in the first quarter, they're still feeding him, and he's showing his appreciation. And stolen by Booker. The tray. The shot that time, not on target. And New York the other way now. Well, it's been an up-and-down quarter for him on the offensive end. Mostly down, though. That's fantastic shot making this quarter after struggling a bit in the first. New York leading by 18. There's the triple. That's good from Davis on the assist by Posey. And 11 points for Davis. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Davis against Thomas. Over Davis. Thomas, no good. And why take that contested shot? I mean, make the extra move. Oh, oh please. Yes, yes. Yeah, it always helps when your point guard can throw it down. Davis, with that impressive vertical, likes powering at home inside. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That is his first foul of the game. A different look for New York. Russell, he's checked in for Elijah. Wan. Jordan comes in for Iverson. And it's Johnson in for Isaiah Thomas. LeBron outside. Here's Jordan. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. And Davis gets it to go. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Uh, if you're going to step in front of LeBron James, we're going to question your sanity. Just a freak of nature. And Davis puts it in. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. The Knicks shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Free throw good, James. Well, how about a multi-time champion and a multi-time MVP, and LeBron James continues to dominate. It truly is special to watch. The Knicks making a switch here. Ryan's checked in. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And the leadership James brings to this team is incredibly valuable. Well, when things get tight, they look to the king to provide for them. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Talk about stretching out a defense. He's been unstoppable tonight. I'll tell you, he's nailed everything in sight and how efficient he has been from outside the arc. Leave him open from mid-range like that, and there's not much doubt he'll knock it down. Come on, guys, you got to think. And it's yeah, wow, he nails the putt. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. An exceptional performance from Baron Davis. And how disruptive was he in that first half? I mean, creating havoc, causing turnovers, and really energizing his team. Well, didn't you get the sense, Greg, that this entire team fed off his energy? His remarkable effort on the defensive end really triggered this group. And New York, looking at who they've got. Kevin Love out there with Chris Middleton. Then there's C.J. McCollum. Then it's Curry. And it's Bull in at the five. There's the feed to Duncan, and stolen by Love. This is what superb defense is all about, guys. He read that all the way. All oh, the, the officials are all over that one. New York shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night, and he makes the first. 
And so McCollum nails both of them. And turnovers have been the issue for him. You can see the coaches have gotten into him a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Russell passes to James. Russell, it's good on the putback. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. He was all alone on that one. And that's now 27 points for Steph Curry. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Screen by Russell. Duncan outside. He kicks it to LeBron. Fades back. That's good. And so Duncan with the assist. LeBron's got 18 points in the game. I really like the energy I'm seeing from this offense. Three for four to open the third. Curry's shot is good. Well, a performance worthy of an all-time great. And I think at this point, we're comfortable putting that label on Stephen Curry. And the rejection by Love. Inside, bowl, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. And whatever the adjustments at halftime, they are looking really good right now. Well, there's no doubt this quarter has been all about them. They've come out hot, and they're not showing any signs of letting up. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. It's going to be Johnson shooting. That one on Love. A different look for New York. Abdul-Jabbar's checked in for Duncan. Bird comes in for LeBron. And it's Robertson in for Jordan. Curry from deep three-point land. And again, New York with the triple. All night. He just won't let up. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. And it's tipped. Here's Robertson. And it comes off the front of the rim. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Yeah, that's a surprising miss, Greg. I have a feeling if they get that shot again, they'll knock it down next time to the inside. It's stolen by Curry. It's McCollum on the wing. A three-pointer off the mark. They get a hand on it. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. Kevin Garnett he's checked in for New York. Iverson comes in for Johnson. Here's Curry. 33 points for him. Yeah, and even with his range, that one might be asking a little too much. Yeah, that zip code might extend beyond his range. My goodness, let's take a better shot next time. It's stolen by Abdul-Jabbar. And stolen by Love. And the dunk by Love. Well, that's a big time finish from Kevin Love. Go ahead, son, do work. We've got 155 left in the third quarter. You know, watching Kevin Love, he's really got a ton of tools at his disposal offensively. We know he can shoot it. We know he can post it. But his off-ball movement has also improved. Love has molded himself into a dynamic score. Kobe's checked in for Robertson. And with Love and his offensive game, he has even started getting more scores off of cuts. Yeah, Lo Love has a good sense of timing on when a lane will open up. And often will get matched up with a defender that just isn't as quick as he is. And when everything is clicking for him, he can light it up in a quarter, as we've seen in the past. Garnett outside. Kicks it to Kobe. Lock at six. Teardrop shot. It's his first trip to the line. The first one falls. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Bradley's checked in for New York. Middleton right side. Here's the three. That falls. Ice feed that time from McCollum. McCollum's got three assists now in this one. Iverson kicks to Abdul-Jabbar. Count it. Good. And don't let the lean physique fool you. Kareem with the strength to finish through contact as well as anybody who's ever played. Man showing some terrific range. Curry's got 39. Boy, his output has been impressive today, and it doesn't look like he's done cooking just yet. Back to Iverson. Stolen by Middleton, and they're on the break. Here's Curry with the three. Poked away. 
But they'll get another chance. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Bradley. A different look for New York. Elijah Wan's checked in for Abdul Jabbar. And Thomas subbed in for Larry Bird. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Love. Posey comes in for Chris Middleton. Booker, he's checked in for McCollum. And it's Davis in for Curry. <laughs> and that's just too deep. Uh, Elijah Wan with way too many moves in there. Almost automatic. And it's Davis missing. Here's Garnett. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. A perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. It just misread that pass completely. Tim Duncan. And so here is New York. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Posey. And that's 31 points for Davis. Another triple. And that's been the story of this second half. Boy, they have consistently been draining shots from deep, and that can take the heart out of an opponent. Here's Jordan, and the basket is good. The yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Here's Davis. Drilled it right as the clock hit. All Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. They've got Duncan. Thomas is out there with Michael Jordan. Then it's Elijah Wan, and it's Kobe in at the three, the small forward. That's the five for New York right now. Now, here is Elijah Wan. Here's Duncan, and it's in there. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's New York. Here's Davis. And again, New York with the triple. You just don't realize how difficult it is to hit a shot that deep. And <laughs> that was sweet. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Davis. And a fast break now for New York. Booker with no one around. Misses the three. And a fast break now for New York. Bryant has the open look. That's good. And so Duncan with the assist. Duncan's got three assists in the game. Here is Davis. But Trey connects from three-point range. Davis has got 43 points. And you can see where they're attacking here in the fourth, strictly from the perimeter. Well, they've got the green light to pull the trigger from three, and I'll, I'll tell you, they put it to good use here. Bryant. And misses it off the right side of the rim. New York with the ball. Passes to Kuzma. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Free throw good. Kuzma. And New York making a change here. Robertson's checked in. And he makes the first but misses the second. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. Goes back up, and Elijah Wan finishes inside. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Took him no time at all on that one. Three. Davis has got 46 points. Woo, with a player this hot, I don't see their lead going anywhere. And slam dunk by Jordan. They're finding the weakness in the defense. That's the court savvy of Thomas at work. Davis. And again, New York with the triple. Well, he's taking a lot of pressure off the other players right now with how well he's shooting it. And stolen by Booker. Pass to Posey. New York moving it around. Good work there as it goes. 51 points for Davis. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this move. Count the basket. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Oh, he launched that one from way outside. Davis has got 54 points. Still attacking. Building on this lead, coming down the stretch. I'll tell you, he's relentless right now. He's going straight at the defense and knocking down a lot of shots in this quarter. Here's Thomas, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Yeah, that's the baby faced assassin. Thomas, he'll smile at you, and then he'll cut your legs out from under you. 
Thomas gone two for four so far here tonight. A three-pointer is right on target. 57 points for Davis. And weak rotation defensively. This is not a guy you want to leave open when you're trying to stay in the game. Now the defense just not in sync there, right? You've got to do a better job communicating. And Jordan gets it to go. And as much as he's done to increase the range on his jump shot, this is where Jordan's bread is buttered, that mid-range game. Davis with the bucket. Feeling it. No doubt about it, he's definitely feeling it right now, shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Right side, Jordan. Feeds it to Duncan. Kuzma pulls it in. Here's New York. Booker the pass to Davis. And good that time. Now, Kev, how about that setup? Booker with the impressive vision finds the open man, makes the game easy. Inside, here's Robertson. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Here's Davis. And again, New York with the triple. And since the break, he's just been money from beyond. When he's this hot, the green light just doesn't seem to get any greener. Robertson, good. And guys, you got to ask, where was this effort when it mattered? The game's over now. Right. Frustrating for sure, Greg. I don't think they'll be able to mount a comeback at this point. Great open look there. 68 points for Davis. And saving their best for last. Tremendous run here to seal the win. Well, this is exactly how you put teams away. Late game execution leads to a tremendous win. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Bradley up top. Here's Kuzma. Sinks the three-pointer. Boy, ran his man right into the pick and got the open look. Basketball 101. Thomas against Davis. Takes the 13-footer. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Such a graceful player. Uh, Hakeem is, is light off the ground there for that rebound. And then the skill to send that one home. Bangs home the trifecta. So no problem for New York as they get the...